What's well, right, guys? Welcome to another player growth test, and I'll be taking a look at Rodolfo Pizarro here, the 21 year old center mid slash right back who starts at a 69 overall. Really enjoyed him the last FIFA, uh, where he's pr just a right back, listed as just a right back, but now he's playing the midfield um, in real life as well. I uh, actually really love the way he plays there. He's five foot eight, right foot high, medium work rates, four star weak foot, and three star skill moves. And his stats to start out are pretty solid. You know, very pacey, great stamina. That's great for the midfield. Um, you know, tracking back and the like. I played him basically in a 4-4-2 flat. So you're going to see, you know, a lot of that two-way work from him. And he's perfect with that. Especially, you know, with how good he is, you know, marking, tackling and all that. Very well run technically. And you'll see him grow very quickly. Uh, tech, now he's up to 73, 77 overall, excuse me. And his tactical ability is just tremendous. You know, so well-rounded. Only non-green stats here in year 2020 are finishing and heading accuracy and free kick accuracy. So that just shows how, uh, you know well-rounded he's in the midfield he's actually gone quicker uh, he's gotten stronger as well and he's grown in his mental stats so certainly uh, looks great in all those aspects and you'll see him actually you know on the tack again he was a complete two-way midfielder especially playing in that 4-4-2 flat um, he really can you know go back and forth get up and down the pitch win the ball back for you start attacks and finish as well as he did in this highlight here very nice finish from him just outside of the box there and he's going to put that in the side netting as well. But uh, a lot of his work was defensively uh, stepping into these, get, grabbing that interception there. He was in some great spots constantly. And he would also put in a very solid pass here. Some great passing from him throughout. Uh, you'll see another nice little play coming up from offensively. But uh, a lot more defense, I have to say, from him. But, uh, you know, running at the defense, he was solid as well uh, because of how agile he is. You know, in the midfield, if you have pace, agility in the midfield, it's very overpowered. I've said it plenty of times. But uh, I, I would recommend, you know, using him because of how in the midfield, just because of how, uh, you know, agile, how pacey he is. Running at defenders, he makes them look silly quite often. And he does does right here um, in this instance just running at the de defenders uh, and he's able to play a ball through which is going to lead to a goal so uh, some great work from him in the tack as well as tracking back um, but uh, he would actually you know cap out very early which is a bit weird as you'll see now uh, he declined right after this season both physically and in his, in his overall so uh, this is him at his peak 70 overall with very good physical stats so well on physically and technically uh, and you know mental stats aren't too bad either so uh, I would probably say you know if his mental sets were a bit higher you'd probably be have a higher overall as well but he's had the tribbler specialty also so again guys in my opinion he was probably one of my favorite midfielders so far actually i'd have to say you know uh he's, he's up there i'd probably say maybe top five top top six or so because there's a quite a few that i liked a lot but him i enjoyed a lot uh, especially in that way i played him in that 4-4-2 flat where he was able to you know be a complete two-way midfielder he certainly did a lot uh, it was a joy to use so i certainly do recommend him i'm sure you would give a great shift at right back you would choose to play him out there as well though uh, but that guys though thanks for tuning in i'll be signing out now and i'll catch you guys later